Hi, my name is Mike with Anytime Animal Control, and I'm here to show you how to skin a squirrel the easiest way that I know. You're going to need a sharp knife and a squirrel. That's it. We shot this little guy this morning, and it's always best to take care of your game as quickly as possible. Normally, I wouldn't be doing this inside the home, but um, I am because it's really cold out right now, and I don't like the Squirrel hide's pretty tough. Careful not to skin yourself. You, you got to pinch the back and then make a slice across the back like that from side to side. There you see it doesn't take much of a hole. It's just big enough for your two fingers to fit in and then you can work from there. You get a couple of fingers there and a couple of fingers there. All right, you get pulled apart from each other. And if the skin hangs up like this on a big chubby one, feel free to use your knife again. But don't cut the gut. If you cut the gut, you've got more to work with. You know, so try to get that hide off that critter without breaking the gut. I like using small caliber guns for squirrels. Um, this guy I took with a 177 pellet gun. Game on. And um, it did a fine job. You know, you get bullet placement is everything. You hit them in the vitals and they die quickly. Now I'm going kind of slow with this because I want you to know what I'm doing. But you see, it's really not hard. Another trick is to do it when they're warm. Do it when they're still warm. That fat hasn't had a chance to really gel up, you know. On a really cold day, their their uh, it, it hangs pretty tight. You got to use your knife a little more. Don't be afraid to be a little forceful. And after a few times, you'll get faster. It, it gets, you know, just like anything. You know, your first time, it's a little rough. That's expected. But I really like eating squirrel, and it's really worth the effort to skin these things. I have five squirrels, some potatoes, maybe some rice or something, and corn on the side. Man, that's a meal to me. So that's how I grew up, eating them in this very room with my family. My dad and myself used to go out squirrel hunting and uh, we'd get five or six of them. That took care of the whole family. Okay, now we're down to the legs, the tail, arms, and the head. Once again, sharp knife means everything. Saves an awful lot of aggravation and time. Gotta be careful. This little fella is a little bit greasy. We're into November now. They're, they're getting their winter storage of fat. And it's starting to show. You could always use a meat cleaver or just break the bones. They're not that, you know, they're a pretty frail animal. That's a pretty tough little guy. Maybe I should shoot the smaller ones. Alright, you see how fast that worked? In the front, they come off pretty fast. Pretty easy. So there we are. Now we've got a bucket in the house <laughs> to catch the blood. Once you cut that head off, it's going to start to bleed.
Now it's time to gut. Right down the middle, all the way down. But don't cut the gut. Cut the meat, break the bone, but try not to cut the intestines. This doesn't matter as much on these little guys, like squirrels and stuff like that, as it does on hogs and deer and bear. Those get real nasty when you break the gut, when you break the stomach and the intestines, because it's just so much of it and it's so nasty and it gets all over everything. It's just a mess. And then you gotta worry about it affecting the taste of your meat. Nobody wants it. to take a bite out of a venison steak and taste uh, stomach fluid. Actually, I bring, I bring my deer and bear, all that big stuff. I bring it out of the field and hang it before I even feel, I don't feel dressed deer and, and, and all that big stuff. I hang them and you get a, a, a lot cleaner result out of it. You, you get the hide off and everything is clean. You don't have all that leaves and sticks and everything on it. So there you are, a skinned, gutted squirrel. All you got to do is rinse him off, pick off anything that doesn't look like it belongs there. Looks like doesn't look like you want to eat it. Any of these little things, wash them off. Wash off any pieces of hair that are on there, and you got some good eating. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. My name is Mike with Anytime Animal Control. Have a great day.